All right, guys, we need to talk about everyday survival. I know there's this dream, this uh, these delusions of grandeur people live in, especially on YouTube. Like you got a bug out bag, you got your survival stuff, your your sail needles, and you can make a fire with your toenails, and you're just gonna go out there and live in the woods and kill animals and stuff. But that that's like maybe one percent of wild scenarios so you get lost camping backpacking you're screwed up something the problem i've noticed in the years that i've been up in the wilderness with my cabin is um people just aren't ready for everyday stuff in the woods and so the perfect example is today i just rescued this young lady not really rescued but she was up here on her dirt bike out here in the freaking woods and i was going down to the nearest town down the mountain to uh get a couple things and i saw her bike sitting there and saw her laying on the ground so rolled down the window did the neighborly woodsman thing hey you okay good to go blah blah, blah. i get a thumbs up so i keep rolling so it takes me about two hours turnaround so when i'm coming back she's still sitting there and uh i decide to stop and see if so whatever's going on you know it's kind of strange just to be hanging where she was it was strange to be sitting there turns out she started in the woods with her dirt bike with a loose chain coming up here in the mountains she had nothing with her she had a dead iphone and that's it and she said she was up here with friends and they left her and they didn't know something happened to her no radio nothing like that so she's just sitting there stranded and she's a younger girl. She did not seem prepared for the woods at all. I mean, what are you going to do? A hike out, leave your dirt bike for somebody to steal it? Or just camp with nothing? She just had her dirt bike gear. And uh, so nothing on her. It's just people come out to the woods uh, up in the wilderness. And it's like they're in this American safe bubble. Like they're at a theme park. Like, oh, yeah, we're going out in the woods. Going to do some touring and blah 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 and this is the most common scenario this is what happens your vehicle breaks down or in her case her chain came off and she was stranded and her friends didn't know number one where she was and they didn't know she had an issue so i know when i show when i share my wilderness loadout videos and stuff like that you know i see some knucklehead comments people were like hey dude you're not in iraq anymore but the thing is when i go out on my ATV or just a ride like this, like I'm checking out wildfires, that's my camping bag with everything I need for a couple nights. And it may seem like overkill, but you know what? I've I've had flat tires on the ATV plenty of times where I didn't feel like abandoning it in the woods for meth heads to come rip it apart. Um, you know, or the walk was too far and I had to camp and then wait and figure out a plan. So that's the thing is yeah okay maybe it seems crazy to be prepared for just a simple ride through the woods or whatever but you know what i don't get stranded to where people have to save me as a matter of fact at least once a month when i'm out here just going for a drive or whatever i'm doing i have to go help somebody especially in the winter i gotta pull cars out of ditches because people come up here without four-wheel drive and i gotta save them you know it's it's just it's pretty funny that uh, people don't don't pay attention and think about stuff like that. So here's here's the bottom line. You know, you should plan for your shit hits the fan scenario and all that stuff. But if you're just going out in the wilderness and you don't have cell service, you know, there's some basic steps you can take. Like, let's use this lady on the motorcycles example. You know, I was like, the finally, like I came back to the house and got my tools to um, help her do her thing. She knew how to work on her bike. That's kind of cool. And um, by the time I showed up with my tools, um, her friend, one of her friends showed up. And they're arguing, you know, he's like, I don't know why you come this way, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, we didn't know where you were. And I was like, guys, why don't you have radios? You're out here in a group, you know, get get a bubble pack of GMRS radios and you can talk to each other, you know. And why, why did you leave each other? You know, so without getting into people's business, um, 
it just raised all these questions in my mind. Like we use the buddy system out here, me and my friends and family. We never go anywhere alone. If I go somewhere alone, I'm prepared to camp or hump it back on foot. You know, so that is the, the those are the scenarios that the majority of you guys need to be prepared for. You know, shit hitting the fan, the apocalypse and all that. I know that's all really cool and fun to train for. If any of you guys are actually training, like, are you doing fitness training? I doubt it. Good luck humping miles with that big old bug out bag you got without falling out. Um, you know, but the point is, like, what is most likely going to happen to you? You know, so just going out in the woods, you should be thinking about stuff like that. So that's just one of those elements I'm going to add to my modern survival series. I don't know if that's going to be the title, but I'm basically going to get into the most common occurrences that happen to people in the wilderness. So, you know, wildfires, we'll probably get into hurricanes and tornadoes. We're going to get into getting lost in the woods. Maybe I should call it average Joe's survival. I don't know, because, you know, 98% of the people, they're not doing shit hit the fan stuff and they're not preparing for the apocalypse, you know, but the great majority of people, especially in America, they need to be prepared for just everyday stuff that happens in the woods. So that's what that series is going to be about. So if you have something you want to add to it, if you have a burning question, something you've come across in the wilderness, let me know and I will I will add it to that series. So put it down there in the comments and we'll get to it. Until then, man, you know, um, I know I could share a lot more of what I'm doing out here. It's really hard when I'm doing chores out in the woods or, or exploring or whatever. It's hard to remember to put a camera in my face and, and set up cameras and do all this editing and stuff. So that's where these short videos are coming from. So I hope you guys enjoy them. Um, if you want to add your input, put it down there. And uh, yeah, you know what to do. Like and share and all that cool stuff. And uh, until then, man, I got some house tours to do. Let's get to it. Out.